This is Spotlight TV, and I am your host, Christian Lestat Bucer. For the people at home, who are we here with today? Kate Quick. Matt Brown. So, like, what what you doing in this part of the woods in Erie, Pennsylvania? We is some Erie rap artists. So how long have you been in the game for? I've been in the game for eight years. I've been doing it for about six and a half now. So, like, how many tracks do you already have, both of you? I have some older, modern type material, but I'm looking to do some brand new material. About, I'd say, give or take, with including all the scratch tracks I did, just as practice, the rough draft. I used to run a home studio through my friend's house, so I give or take, with all the good editings, we'll put it at about just 25 songs recorded total so far. Well, both your songs, like, uh... What like what what inspires them and what are they about? Life. Really, the music I do is it's inspired and based on the no bullshit rule, as I like to call it. It's just the way I look at hip hop and rap nowadays. Everything's become too commercialized. It's all the same thing. They're talking about the same thing, and nobody's really true to what they do anymore. Nobody really tells the really truth. And it's just basically. Is bringing real hip hop back where you just speak the truth inside of your lyrics, like no lies whatsoever, and just bringing it into like a new school type material. Now, how did you two meet each other? We met in high school, 2004, back in Central Tech. Now, do you play any of that, that uh, the stories of what happened in Central and in your music, or? Mm, not really. I mean, it uh, could. Nothing ever inspired anything from the Central days? Nothing inspired me from the Central days. Just pretty much, I haven't really done a lot about my high school days, but during my time throughout high school, other places I've hung out at, I've, you know, I've re referenced those in a few of my songs, what we used to do while we were hanging out there. Like old the old Perry Elementary School is a lot of me and my friends used to uh, exactly. go down That's there. That's where the hangouts fall. That's where all the memories were right there. Central is just not one of those places to talk about. So, like, what school did you start, like, uh, doing hip-hop in? Central High. I started in 2003. I started actually writing basic material back in 7th grade at uh, St. George's, right after I turned 13. I mean, I remember coming up with my first song, it didn't even rhyme. It was like a rock song until I met my friend, shout out to Chuck T. He's the one who helped me rhyme my words together. But yeah, that's how that came about from my career. Now how many other rappers in the local area have you worked with? We've, we've worked with a few numbers of them. I mean, Big Ryan, for one, our dude Young Strav, he just recently came around and we started recording tracks with him. I've also worked with Chuck T, K Quick here, and we've also done a couple songs with other artists who we haven't seen for a little while, such as AC, he was also one of Strav's people he works with. We've also done work with uh, Young Gun, Young Gun, which... We haven't kind heard anything from him in a while. Well. Yeah. We haven't really heard a lot from him. Uh, young Convict, as he used to go by, but we don't know what happened to him. It's just... The collaborations we really have done lately is just... It's just we're, we really want to collab with more people as well, but people that actually stay with us and who are seriously dedicated to what they do, who will actually be willing to come back in the studio and work with new projects, new experiments. Now, for people watching this that, that want to like hook up with you guys and work with you guys, uh, how can they get a hold of you? You can Facebook me, or you can just call my cell phone, 814-504-2339. I'm open for any collaborations. You can as well Facebook me under Matt Brown, cell phone number 440-4393. So just give me a call. I'm available at most times throughout the day. 
Now, the uh, music, where can people hear the music that you made so far? I normally go around the city and pass out the mixtapes. I have a MySpace page with a few of the songs up right now. MySpace.com slash MattBreezy814. We have currently three songs up, but uh, in the next couple of weeks I'm, willing to, I'm about to post up uh, more music, so, you know, just keep posted. Take a look at the page. Now with this uh, Rock Erie, uh, are you going to join that soon, or are you already joined in? I'm looking to join Rock Erie next year. Same I thing. haven't really completed any finished projects to submit for 2010, so best of luck of whoever takes that award this year. Do you feel that like that actually does anything for a person who wins? Like, does it actually gives them a, them an achievement other than winning Rock Year? Or how do you feel about that? Does it make the the rapper like uh, bigger in the community? I yes. think Rock Year is like the Grammy Awards. Because well, after you get much. that award, it's basically a local Everybody Grammy. knows who you are. It's just that is true because you'll be also known for more than just your music as well. That your music was up to level, up to par to win that type of award. So, I believe yeah, that would influence more people to come listen to your music. Well, it is the people's playing. decision to vote and the mass vote as actually like who they pick. So, I guess it's the people who's the judge of who wins Rock Year. So that is something to brag about. But do you think it helps people to get like outside the Erie area to get the music outside, like to Pittsburgh or Buffalo? Yeah. I think it's a big motivation. Yeah, it's, I mean, I've seen Hectic worked on a bunch of mixtapes that was outside of Pennsylvania before. Zeke Diamond, one of the biggest names in Erie, Pennsylvania. He actually goes out to New York, Pittsburgh, and Philly and does shows. I mean, yeah, I think it helps push out your music to other cities than our own city. Oh, uh, shout outs and thank yous. Did you want to give on any? I want to thank my parents. Because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be sitting here. I can thank Chuck T for putting me in the rap game. Best of luck with him because we went separate ways. No disrespect. But yeah, that's who I'm going to thank on this. I also want to send a shout out to my parents as well and my late grandfather, Donald Richard Rowe. Without him, I wouldn't be the same person I am today. I also want to say I love you to every hater out there. Just make it better for me. Speaking of any haters, you want to like uh, talk about any hate you've had, like with beefs or anything? Has there even any beefs with you guys? A little bit. We uh, referring to Chuck T as well. We all used to be in a group together known as Black Italy back at the time when we were all attending Central, and. Me personally, I was trying to branch off as well. I was still willing to work with Black Italy and be a part of that. But I'm trying to work on a label known as Underdog Entertainment. Just trying to create my own separate type of empire as well. And there was a little bit of irritation like for him for that. He didn't appreciate that. He didn't want any other thing brought into the tracks. It's shout outs to Underdog Entertainment on a Black Italy track. And it just started causing some problems between us. And then a couple weeks later, after we split, I heard a track that was posted on his MySpace music page. And we're just talking all this shit about me. And I'm just sitting there like, he's, he's really brought it to this point. Like, I'm not the type of artist who wants to sit there and have problems. I'm just trying to sit here and just be about my music, make my music, and just be on my grown man. I'm not the type to sit, here, sit around with no little kid people. stuff, little kid stuff involved with this arguments, this little childish beef type stuff. It's just, it's just a huge waste of time. And then I did retaliate. I did record a track back to everybody in Black Italy, stating how I felt. And really, since then, there. That's, that's really the only issue I've ever had with any other artist. I'm really not the type to have issues with other people. No, I don't write diss tracks. Diss tracks only put you in coffins. Because if you say something on a diss track, that's going to make the other artists retaliate. And they might just end up 
find your body laying on the curb somewhere. I'm not all about beef, I'm about music. Listen here, sport, you want to videotape, I'll take your camera. Put that on.